So what is hydrilla? Hydrilla is a highly invasive plant found in the US. It can grow just about anywhere if there is water and sun. Growing up to 1 inch a day, once introduced into an ecosystem, it will outcompete the native plants and reach the surface of the water, forming a thick mat that suffocates any plants around it. Where did it come from? Hydrilla is said to have originated in Sri Lanka and made its way to the United States through the pet trade. Hydrilla's fast growth rate and simple requirements makes it a very popular plant for aquariums. People will then dump their fish tanks into the surrounding bodies of water, introducing this lethal plant to the ecosystem. So how does it grow? Now, here's where it gets interesting, hydrilla can reproduce one of three ways. You have the pollen, the stem, or the seed or otherwise known as the tuber. The pollen spread across the surface of the water, the stems can be broken into many little fragments, and still have the capability of reproducing. It reminds me of the hydra from Greek mythology, being able to duplicate after being cut off. The tuber however, is buried many centimeters under the surface. This tuber can sit dormant for up to four years under the sediment, waiting for the right time to sprout a new plant. A single tuber can produce as many as 6,000 tubers. By using a winch, we haul it up and out of the river to be taken away. This is back-breaking work and an uphill battle seeing how fast hydrilla will bounce back. Just look at all that plant weight. We are talking tons and tons, just to be ripped up and grow right back a month later. Hopefully now you see why hydrilla is such a nasty plant to have around. Once hydrilla has established a footing and taken root, it is very difficult to reverse it. To be honest, I don't see a future where San Marcos River ever truly removes all of the hydrilla without nuking the whole river. It's all about damage control now, and making sure our local endangered species have room to grow. If you are still here, thank you so much, I hope you enjoyed this video or at least learned something new. These videos take a long time slash effort to make, so please consider checking out my patron to support me in my mission to save our planet. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Do it! Just do it!